Hi, welcome to the Endeavor Getting Started Quick Demonstration. Well, basically the goal for this session is to give you an idea of how easy it is to get started using Endeavor. Let me just start by saying that Endeavor is an open source solution to manage the creation of large-scale enterprise systems in an iterative and incremental development process. Well, basically the first step is to download the latest distribution. For that you can click on the link available at our website and this will take you to the SourceForge development site. From here, you can click the download button and this will give you the latest distribution. I have done that I have done that already in order to save some time. The distribution comes on an archive on a zip archive and you can unzip this archive anywhere in your file system. Once you have done that, well basically a starting endeavor comes is it's as easy as following three simple steps. The first one is to start the, the database. In this case, Endeavor comes with a with an embedded hypersonic database. This is for testing or evaluation purposes only. Uh, the second step is to start the Tomcat application server, and the, th the, th uh, and the third and final step is to open the application in your website or your preference. Well, let's go and start the database. We provide several scripts to start and stop the database whether you are under a uh, Linux based system you can you can use the dot sh scripts or whether you are under a Windows based system you can start you can use the dot path scripts. Well let's start the database and the next step as I said before is to go and start the application server. Same same as same as I as I said before we provide several scripts whether you are on the Linux based systems or Linux based system or whether you're working on the Windows based systems. Well let's start the and Tomcat application server. Uh, now let's go open our web browser and let's access the application. Let me just check first that the server is ready to go. Well, Endeavor, is Endeavor can be accessed to through localhost 8080 Endeavor. So let's go there. And finally, we are in the login page. Well, the, um, and the distribution comes with a, with a demonstration application loaded already. And this includes several users. Um, in this case, we have we have an, an administrator user that can be used to log on to the system and several other de developers predefined. In this case, in order to, to log on using, using the administrator, we have to use admin and password, the simply password. All right, so here we are. We are in the welcome page. Um, and the ho this is the basically the home page for the user system administrator. From here, we can see uh, the we can see the status of uh, the system administrator. We have the start. We are seeing the status of the of other developers that are um, that form part of several projects. We can we can see the assignments for the system administrator and we can see the projects that the, the system administrator is assigned to. As I said before, Endeavor comes with a predefined uh, pr project for, uh, for demoing purposes only. So in this case, we don't have any, pr any project selected yet. We can see that nothing is available right now, so let's just simply go and select the point of cell project, POS project, which stands for point of cell project. And from here, we can just simply go and see the several software artifacts that are available available for, for demonstration. In this case, let's go and double click in on iteration. Well, from here we can see every, uh, all the the fields, uh, all the data that can be captured to describe the iteration. We can see that this iteration has one one uh, use case assigned, which is lo the logging use case. We can see that it has one defect assigned and two defects that are unassigned. We have one ch 
change to quest and we have we have one task task assigned. Let's go and take a look at the use cases. Well, in this case it's not showing anything because we have to apply uh, the filter based on the preferences that we want to to use in order to perform the search. In this case I'm just simply going to execute the default the default preferences and well basically this will bring all the use cases available. We could search by priority, we could search by status or simply type the name. So in this case I'm just gonna click OK and here I am I am looking at the login use case that is assigned to this iteration. I'm con gonna double click on it. From here we can see all the main data for the use case. We can see its events. We can click on one event and we can see the extensions of the, for that event. If we, we if we if we wanted to we use we could simply just double click on it and just change it. We could uh, see the actors that are assigned to this use case or we could simply go to print preview and this will show us in a second the print print format of this use case. This is how we, it will look if we were about to print it. Well, just finally, and again this is just a simple demonstration, uh, let's go to project plan. From here we could expand all and see all the artifacts that are available for the for the for this iteration, we have a, a use case, we have the, the, uh, a task, we have a change request, we have a defect. From here we could just simply double click on each artifact and modify it is if we wanted to. We can go to the project schedule and see a Gantt chart or we could, go, we could go to the print preview and we finally will see, we'll finally be, we'll be looking the uh, Gantt available for printing. Well, that has, that has been everything for this demonstration. Please check the other videos which I will go in uh, great detail describing how to create each one of these software artifacts. Thank you very much.